Hey friends, welcome to the first hot news clip of the week, also known as hot takes. I apparently coined that. I, I want some hot cakes, Reese. Anyways, more news, more awkwardness. You're welcome. So let's go ahead and talk about what we're talking about, which is AMD's APUs going into the next gen consoles. You want PlayStation 5 and you want the new Microsoft Scarlet, whatever we're actually gonna call those when those come out, the x -boned. Anyways, whatever we're gonna call that stupid thing, you need it to run on something really good. And we've heard bits and pieces. There's been the report that Navi, which is the upcoming AMD GPU architecture, was developed specifically in partnership with Sony and that Raja Kadori, who's now the head of GPUs at Intel, but was the head of Radeon Technologies Group when Navi was being developed, worked very closely uh, with the Sony team at his own uh, dismay at his own dismay because he wanted to focus on Vega, which is the cards that they had to actually release right then. He didn't feel like it was ready, but Lisa Su made the executive decision saying, no, we're betting on the future. And he was like, I wanna do what it's coming out right now because people aren't gonna like it. And then he left the company because, you know, different visions and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, the culmination of the Navi vision appears to be coming out now, especially that we're getting leaks of the hardware that are, is supposed to be in these upcoming APUs. So we have a leak from a well-known leaker on Twitter, Tum Apisec, or T-U-M-A-P-I SAC, however you wanna you know, d divvy up the words, posting a 3D Mark score or a 3D Mark database submission of a code name for an upcoming AMD part. And in case you aren't familiar, the way that AMD labels their code names can actually be deciphered using a handy little key. So using Marvin's code name decoder, you can see based on the numbers and the letters and everything that's in there, how many cores something has, what generation it's part of, or what the clock speeds are gonna be even, and whether or not it's even released yet, and whether it's a retail sample or an engineering sample. So once you decode the thing that submit, was submitted on the 3D Mark database, we can see that it looks like this is a Zen core, whether it's Zen Plus or Zen 2, or we don't know yet, but I'm gonna hypothesize it's the latter. And it's running its eight cores at a clock speed of 1.6 gigahertz. And then if we look on the GPU side of things, what we have there is what we expect to be a Navi 10 Lite GPU running at 1.8 gigahertz. So that's actually pretty good for a console. 1.6 gigahertz GPU is roughly on par with where the Jaguar APUs are right now with the current PlayStation and Microsoft lineups. But then also the GPU, if Navi is as good as we're expecting it, running at 1.8 gigahertz is actually kind of fast and might bring some of the insane performance that we've been hearing coming out regarding this GPU because GPUs don't tend to clock that high. I mean, even the Radeon 7 doesn't ship at 1.8 gigahertz. The RTX 2080 Ti, I think its base clock is somewhere in the 13, 1400 region. So a 1 1.8 gigahertz SOC or APU uh, graphics card could be something that's pretty substantial. And if we compare this to the AMD Gonzalo APU leak that we had back in January, it looks like there's actually some pretty significant improvements that's happened since then. Because if we look at the clock speed now, what we're seeing is that it's at 1.6 gigahertz, but the one back in January had a one gigahertz Space. So that's a 60% improvement. And it's similar with the Navi 10 GPU. Back in January, the clock speed of the GPU was also one gigahertz, but now it's been increased by 80% to come out to 1.8 gigahertz. And it's for the reason that we've seen a 60% increase in clock speed in just three months shows me that AMD is actually making developments and improvements on the APU that they're trying to bring out, which would lead me to believe, this is just me hypothesizing, that it's actually Zen 2 and not Zen Plus because they likely would have had the clock speeds figured out by now if it was an architecture that's already been on the market for a year. But if it's an architecture that still has yet to come out, these are new engineering samples of something that they're trying to tweak, an increase of 60% in three months could be something that would actually be pretty delicious. So there was a lot to decode here, but the ultimate conclusion is that the CPU clock speed and the GPU clock speed of this AMD APU that should be going into the PlayStation and the next Xbox 
is pretty spectacular. The CPU is supposed to have an over three gigahertz boost clock. And the fact that Navi 10 is clocking up to 1.8 gigahertz indicates that it could actually be a really solid competitor. Whether Sony or Microsoft comes out with their next gen console first, I'm likely guessing that it's gonna be Sony. Whatever it is, it's going to actually be next generation based on seven nanometer architecture and having some efficiencies that we haven't seen before. And it's something to get excited about. $500 for a console that could absolutely kick the butt of the average computer on the Steam hardware survey with a 10 60 and a four core CPU. It's nothing to sneeze at. And I, for one, as much as I enjoy the PC Master Race, am excited to see what happens in the next generation of consoles. So let me know what you think of this leak. Let me know, are you excited for PlayStation 5, Xbox Scarlet? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Hit the like button on this video. Get subscribed to our hot news channel to enjoy more uh, dedicated videos like this, slightly of a deeper dive. I try to at least elaborate on the points that I can here as opposed to on the main channel. And then also this is coming out before the main hot news. So it's a timed exclusive, kind of like the Epic Games Store. You're welcome. Get subscribed. I'm Brett. Bye.